we haven't got the data like data is not received data we are getting it in excel so you usually hear this word so what is this word exactly so data is nothing but your anything which is understandable by the system is known as data or the stored information and the objects we are calling it as a data now for an example what is data looks like data doesn't have anything okay uh, like uh, so by looking at these data what you can understand as we are human beings we can understand by looking at 1 2 3 i might think maybe it is a serial number or by looking at names like anu sam sri i might think it as a name and 2016 i'm not aware what it is is it a year or what it is so this is nothing but your data means it is giving you only a half information now what is information exactly information is nothing but meaningful data is known as information or anything which is understandable by the humans is known as information now for this one also i'll take the same example what i have it on the above okay but here what i will do is i'll just mention what exactly this columns means okay by this you can easily understand like this is a serial number this is the student name and this is a student batch means to which batch they belongs to so what is this your serial number or s name or s uh, batch means in technical terminology we call it as a metadata in layman language we call them as a headers so your combination of your metadata plus your data we are calling it as a information okay just a second okay so now what is your metadata what your metadata is giving metadata is giving you a descriptive information about the information okay and the content present in that and it also defines what type of data we are going to store okay so the descriptive information about the information system and its content is known as metadata got it now uh, we'll go through the data data warehouse architecture now you might ask me a question like why it is required 
see front end you are using a tableau which is a reporting tool or any other tool as a reporting tool but to understand why we are using the tableau then data warehouse architecture is very much important So let me take you through the data warehouse architecture. Means we'll take one uh, use case. So normally, I'll just take an example of ICIC Bank, which has uh, branches, okay, in US, UK, and India and i have employees those who are already working for this branches okay let's take an example of icici uh india i have three branches uk and us where i have like 10 10 people already working for each uh, center okay one day icic says that icic manager says that i want to uh, look at the um, what do you say i want to see the sales uh, i want to see the transaction okay so i'll contact icic bank I mean, ICC Bank will contact the each branch and tells that to give the transaction. So these branches, what they'll do is they'll come to these 10 people and ask them to provide the information. So these 10 people will say that, like we are busy with our business as usual. We cannot uh, get you the data to this. Okay. So at that point, what ICIC thinks is like, it still appoints two to members only to share the information. Means only, uh, yes, you, these two to people, and two. So what is their job is like, they just come to this, uh, branch they have to collect the information back and this information they have to transfer it to icsa bank maybe bank manager is sitting in uk or us or in india respective of the location now icsa bank manager thinks i'm paying extra for this six people what they are doing just they are collecting the information and just getting the information to me but there is a lot of expenditure uh, for them like traveling charges are there if they are staying in any hotel they have to pay for the hotel uh the food what they are use uh eating for that they have to pay so i say things and feels that it is spending lot of amount only to get the information and they feel that why can't we get any system which will store the data at one place and from that place we can grab the information. So their experts suggest them about information technology. Now information technology means IT which came into picture when it came into picture again they think in it what is the best source to store the data okay with the help of uh, like normally we have java with java can we store the information no with java we can build the uh, like website and all so then what uh, people said that let's introduce or let's set up a database so what is database means it can store your data from your history means from past 15 years or past 10 years data can be stored in the database okay 
so when database came into picture in database again there are many like sql is there so it's up to you which one which database you want to use it so in this way information technology came into picture now from this database to tableau how we are using how we are data is getting stored so how your data is getting stored means i'm just taking an example So what I'm doing is, I have a ATM set up at UK, okay, and I have a ATM set up in India, and I have a set uh, ATM set up in US. Now how this data is coming to my data warehouse is the concept. So from ATMs or whatever it is there, it will get stored into your OLTP. Now OLTP is nothing but your online transaction. Online transaction processing system. So OLTP stands for your online transaction processing system and it stores the data like day-to-day -day business transaction means it can store the data up to three months and after three months your data gets deleted it means it is a temporary storage okay so day-to-day -day, whatever the operations I'm doing at the ATM that is getting stored into the OLTP on a daily basis okay maybe from oltp on a daily basis you are transferring the data to the uh, like uh, staging area or you can you are doing it uh, like once in a month or something like that so anything it can be but this is the process oltp to and this is OLTP3. Okay. So from here, your data is moving to staging area. Okay. Now, what is staging area? Staging area is a dedicated server, I can say, which actually does a transformation. Now, what are these transformations? If I have to speak technically, transformation means insert, update, delete. If I have to speak in a layman language, then it is like converting your data into human understandable language. Now, why I am saying insert, update, delete is like, if suppose I have a bank account and sometime like after uh, three months or something, my mobile got lost, I have changed the number or something. What I'm doing there, there I'm updating my mobile number so major issues whatever like whatever the updates or deletes or insert is happening that will be taken care at the staging area staging area is nothing but where your transformation happens now here you might ask me in this particular scenario what is the transformation is going on so if you see ATM which you have it in UK. What is the currency in UK? UK currency is pound. India currency is INR and US currency is dollar. Now this one I have to convert into one understandable language so that only I can take a decision, right? So that kind of transformation happens. So in this uh, in this scenario, all your currencies are getting converted into INR so that you can decide like this is the amount which i have and that will be converted into inr okay from here your data will be moved to your data warehouse 
now your data warehouse we call it as a dwh or else we also call it as olap olap stands for online analytical processing system and your data warehouse is like it will convert your raw data into a valid information with the help of the etl now you might ask me where the etl is happening so from here to here whatever the process is happening that we are calling it as a etl that is nothing but your extraction transformation and loading now you might ask me where is happening and are we responsible to do that then for every organization you will be having a etl developer who will be working in the background w or power bi or whatever the reporting tl is there that is a front end i can say now where this extraction transformation is happening you are transferring the data means you are extracting the data okay from oltp to staging area that is your extraction transformations are going in the staging area and from staging area to you are loading your data raw data into your data warehouse here the etl is happening now from data warehouse what we'll do is we just take our data into our any reporting tool so now any reporting tool means it can be your tableau or it can be your power bi or it can be uh, spot fire anything and when you are taking this data into your this thing you are performing two things one is reporting and one is analysis now can anybody answer what is uh, tableau okay so tableau power bi or spot fire anything we do a reporting and analysis now what is reporting and what is analysis when you ask somebody who is very new they'll say that tableau is a tool okay which is used to uh, create the reports this is the answer what you get but actually with the help of the tableau what you are doing you are creating the report as well as we are doing the analysis also now what is reporting and what is analysis what is exact difference so reporting means just like you have seen your excel reports in the excel if i have to see top 10 or top 20 like that it is easy for me to see that okay whereas analysis means you are doing a comparison means what was your last year sales and what is your this year sales in the in this way you are doing some analysis so that is nothing but your analysis like suppose
if you are showing something like that just basical information just like your excel then this we are calling it as a reporting and something if you are showing in this way this is like comparison and like if you want to see which year you got how much so this is nothing but your comparison means you are checking what is your data for last year what is the increase in this year and what will be the increase in the next year this is how we do the comparison now generally we had uh, earlier also we have bi tools right now also we have a bi tools so what is the difference between these bi tools how many types of bi tools we have we have two types of bi tools one traditional bi second is your next generation so what is your traditional bi tools we had crystal reports we have obi double e was there we have ssrs we have ssas we have cognos these were like earlier days we had this now they doesn't exist at all but what is the difference between the traditional and the now why people are going only for the next generation bi tools for this let's take an example of microsoft microsoft has invented ssrs for your reporting for analysis you have ssas in the same way we'll take an example of ibm as well for reporting we have cognos and for analysis we have pm1 okay so here what happened is like for reporting you have to purchase a license and for analysis also you have to purchase the license different license and in earlier it was like uh, normally in a human being you won't get multiple things right you have to appoint ssrs developer and you have to appoint ssas developer both skills if you have in one person then it is well and good okay but you were not getting and in the period of like 2016 and 17 uh not 16 and 17 15 there was a huge demand for tm1 developers they were getting high uh, high package i can say so here what happened is like they are spending a lot of amount on the licenses and they have to spend the amount on the people to whom they are uh, appointing okay this was the issue so what is your next generation bi tools next generation bi tools W, Power BI, Spotfire, ClickView, ClickSense, you know, there are many. Here you are getting reporting plus analysis on same platform. with less cost okay so you are getting a huge uh what do you say you are getting all the facilities what you are getting in less cost 
then you would prefer for that only right quality plus less cost rarely you get this combination so what happened is like when we are spending a lot of amount on the licenses and all then people thought that we are getting all the feasibilities what we have in both in one means that is on same platform then why can't we go for that now when you compare tableau and power bi we have more features in power bi that, rather than tableau so in that way they had a comparison thing and they have decided to go with the next generation bi tools so whatever the reports were there in your crystal reports or cognos and all that has been converted into tableau so this is the difference between traditional bi tools and the next generation bi tools now everybody is speaking about bi 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 what is bi bi is nothing but your business intelligent and everybody says that it is a software but it is actually a application which we are using means we are creating a interactivity or we are creating a dynamic visualization with the help of the wsql wsql is nothing but a language normally if you are seeing this one behind this means at the background there is a language available now whatever you are getting whatever the graphs you are getting in a structured manner that is with the help of the descriptive language so before that what does your bi does with the help of the bi what ha uh, we can see what had happened what is going to happen what is happening so what had happened is your past this is your future this is your present so with the help of the visualization you can understand what is your past what is your future and what is your present let's move on to tableau now what is tableau tableau is a business intelligence application okay this will allow you to create a interactivity and dynamic visualization with the help of the wsql so w is the business intelligence application allows the users to interactive dynamic visualizations with the help of wsql now what is your wsql wsql is your combination of sql plus your dl sql is nothing but your structured query language and descriptive language this is your descriptive language query language means now whatever like whatever the drag and drop i'm doing it means it is executing one query in the background this drag and drop is your sql and whatever the drag and drop i'm doing or whatever the scale you are getting this is happening with the help of the descriptive language if you are from the uh, btech background you have already learned about this subject as a coordinate geometry which you have it in your btech there you will learn about the coordinate geometry which has 0 comma 0 like that 
means it will give you a graph kind of structure and it will align your visualization based on that okay so this is about your tableau